Good. Have a seat on top of your ball. Take a nice deep breath in and draw the arms up and then spread the wings and create that nice big space. So two more breaths, reach for the sky and open. Ideally, you wanna have a yoga ball that's pumped up enough where your knees can be parallel. I understand that's not always the case, but to do a lot of the exercises, if you wanna feel comfortable on the ball, then you wanna have your knees parallel to the floor, okay? And then go ahead from here and switch and sit up nice and tall. Think about creating as much space here through the spine Come back to that middle, interlace your hands and just make a nice C curve. And then I want you to hug the ball. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead, have the feet out and reach through and just actually hug that ball. Relax the head, the neck and the shoulders and create a nice space here in the hips. Inhale and exhale. Back to that center here, and then just lengthen and drop that left right shoulder down to the left side. And then switch to the other side. So we can work our arms, our coordination, our balance, our legs, and our flexibility with the yoga ball. A great stretch if you are on your computer all day or sitting a lot would be to come from here and just relax right over the top. Now, from here, I can either keep my knees bent or I can lengthen my legs and really open, like I'm doing a nice back bend here. If I feel any tension in my back, I can squeeze the glutes and really engage here to protect. I can draw the arms all the way over. Again, if I feel like I need to, I would just bend the knees. I want you to take your hands behind your head from here, and all we're gonna do is just circle, keeping the head, neck, and shoulders supported in the hands. Now I'm trying not to move the ball, so I'm gonna make this small and open and circle, you guys. One, and two, three, keep your chin off your chest, four. We're trying to access every inch of those abs. So as I come to the top, I want to tilt my pelvis slightly up. Only you would know this. You're keeping everything nice and engaged, you guys. Keep your head, neck, and shoulders supported. And then just rewind it the other way. Inhale. Exhale. Just let your head be heavy. Take some nice deep breaths. If this doesn't feel comfortable, you just want to lie over the ball to start. And you can do that as well. Two more times. One and two. And then I'm just going to open back up again. If it feels comfortable, I'm going to lengthen the legs and then reach all the way over in that back bend. Just release the spine. Inhale and exhale. I'm going to open my arms to a T. This is a great way to release that tension and stress here in your shoulders. And really think about squeezing the scapula, but opening up the arms. And then from here, I tuck my chin into my chest, walk my feet in, and then come back up. So a few little stretches to start with that will be accessing the arms. From here, I'm going to relax my shoulders down, squeeze that ball as tight as I can, push it away, and draw it right back in. So exhale and inhale. Now really squeeze. And two, open up the back part of your body here, you guys. Three, exhale. And four, and reach for it. Five, and six. If you need a smaller ball, that's okay, but this is really gonna force you to use those arms, you guys, and open up the back here of the legs, the back of your spine. Now rewind it, draw it down, and open it up and squeeze. Inhale and exhale, reach for it. Inhale and exhale. Let's do this four more times, you guys. Four, reach, three. You can always do this with no ball. Two, one more time now. 
and one. Now really accessing the arms, I want to add a little more rotation in my spine. So what I'm going to do from here is square off my feet, exhale, rotate to the left, and rotate to the right. Now if I want to add a little more to my arms, as I rotate to the left, I'm going to push and open up here with the right. So squeeze and then resist that side that you're rotating towards. Now really use the arms if you want. You don't have to, you can just use this as a way to open up your spine, but you wanna bring the arms into it, squeeze it, you guys. Now just to the left here, exhale one, exhale two. Now try to go a little bit further every time. Four, exhale five. I don't want you to shrug your shoulders. Six, the ball is not high. Seven, the arms are comfortable so that you feel like you can squeeze without coming into your neck. Two more times, you guys. Now let's switch and rotate, other way. And one. Exhale, two. And three. Reach for and squeeze, you guys. Five. Six. That's a seven. Three more. Eight. And nine. We got one more right here. And ten. Very nice, you guys. So let's do a quick little balancing move. What we're going to do here, if again, I want to place the ball and push it into a chair because I'm working on my balance, I would just push the ball into the wall or a chair. Now, remember, this is a round object. It's going to move. I don't want to place all of my pressure on top of it and then try to lift my leg and hope for the best. I want to engage the core, just barely place those fingertips down and step back with the left leg. Now your neck is in neutral and you're just gonna exhale and squeeze here. Now keep your core nice and tight and square off your hips. Exhale, squeeze. Make sure that your neck stays in neutral. No extra tension there, you guys, in the upper body. Lengthen the leg, squeeze the glute. Four more, four, tummy's tight. Three, squeeze your buns. Two, by squeezing the glutes, one, you're gonna stop it from coming into your low back. Go ahead from here and draw the ball away from you. So allow the ears to come through and create that nice space, you guys, along the back of your hamstrings and from your hips to your fingertips. Nice deep breath in, soften the knees, keep from here the upper body parallel to the floor, and then slowly roll that back up. Now we're just gonna switch legs, okay? So from here again, I don't wanna place all of the pressure on the ball, just enough so I can work on my balance here. I'm gonna square off my hips, relax my shoulders. Lift and lower, one, two, and three. Now squeeze and lift, you guys, four, Pull the belly button tight. Five, six, seven, eight. Very nice, you guys. Nine, just parallel to the floor. And 10. One more time. Push it away and lengthen your spine. Fantastic job. Okay, so from here, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and grab onto that ball once again. Now, as the ball rotates here, I'm going to squeeze over to the left side, but I'm going to allow my right leg to reach out. If that is not comfortable, I can come down like this and I can work my leg. This, I'm just trying to multitask and do two things at once. So shoulders back, belly button in. One, two. Now I want to think about the energy in opposition here. So as I'm rotating to the left, I'm kicking to the right. Four, just draw the arms across, and five. And six, great job you guys, seven. Now squeeze it, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Now all we're gonna do is switch the other way. Roll the shoulders back, reach and left. One, and two. Now the upper body wants to go one way, but we're trying to counterbalance that by lengthening the leg, you guys. Five, six, exhale, left. 
seven, eight, two more, nine, one more time, and 10. Wonderful job, you guys. Now from here, if I didn't have the ball in front of me, what this would look like here is I'd be bending the knee, keeping the pressure in the heel, coming back up. So what I want you to do is take the ball from one side to the other. One, two, and three. So it's okay to have the knee come just to the toe. We're not trying to overly extend that knee over, but it's okay to put a little bit of stress as long as it's a safe stress here. Four more, four, and I wanna really lengthen here, you guys, through that back leg. Two, one more, and one. Now all we're gonna do is switch to the other side. Just a tiny rotation with my foot where it feels comfortable. And then as I rotate, I'm gonna drop the knee as low as I can. One, two. The goal is to try to bring the quadricep parallel to the floor, you guys. Five, really create that space in the hip flexors. Seven, eight, that's nine, one more, and 10. Walk it forward and reach through, you guys. Now take a nice deep breath in from here. Inhale and exhale. Soften from here and reach back up. Okay, so using the abdominal muscles, the arms, and the balance here, you guys, I want you to squeeze the ball as tight as you can and just hold the arms at your shoulder, okay? So I'm not trying to come way up here. I'm just coming straight out. I'm going to lift the leg, try to kick it out of my hands. So it's going to be really obvious if I don't squeeze because I'm going to lose the ball. So I'm squeezing from here, taking that deep breath in and kicking. One, two, three. Now really hold it tight, you guys. Four, use your abs. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. 10. Now the same leg, I want you to go ahead from here, drive the knee up to the ball and extend out. This time the arms are to the corner. Here we go. One, two, three. Now pull that ball in and squeeze it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Great job, you guys. If your arms feel a little bit fatigued, they should. Circle back, take a nice deep breath in, and rewind it. This is a large object. Nice circle around here, ball, so it makes it so I can really contract and use the arms to help. Now, I'm gonna switch legs. Without shrugging, draw from here, straight leg kick. One, two, three, four, Five, I'm trying to lengthen that leg, you guys. Six, and kick it out of my hand. Seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Now, with that bent knee, even though my arms are elevated, I'm not shrugging the shoulders. So I don't want to lose my neck. I'm going to reach through here, pull the knee. One, two, three, four. Five, pull it in, you guys. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, and rest to you guys. Wonderful job. Have a seat on your ball. Now, from here, you guys, this is when it can be very helpful to have a ball with which your quads are parallel to the floor. If it doesn't work, you guys, Guess what? Life is not perfect, so it doesn't matter. I want you to try to be as comfortable as you can. So if you can pump up your ball, that's a great way to try to get it. If not, then you can get a bigger ball. Now from here, I can step tap one side than the other or jumping jacks. One, two. Now I don't want to let the arms come higher than the shoulders, but I want to activate my shoulders and squeeze the weight so I also Activate the biceps. Now, nice deep breath in. Remember, if it doesn't work, I take one foot, then the other. We're going to be jumping just for a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck the elbows in and extend to the corner. If it doesn't work, I just make the movement smaller. 
Inhale, exhale. Remember you guys, if you need to step, it can be a lot on the hip flexors if the ball is not tall or big enough. Four more, three, two. Now I'm gonna kick back right here. I can just assimilate the arm movements. Three, four. Now kick those triceps back and squeeze the weight. Five, six, great job you guys, seven, eight. Pull your belly button in, nine. Now jab cross. So every time I punch, the legs come out. Punch, legs out, or tap and switch. Inhale and exhale. I'm just punching to my shoulder height. I'm not trying to add any extra tension in the neck. Four more. Three, both sides count as one. Two, one more both sides. And raise the roof. One, two, if this doesn't work. Three, four, and just alternate. Five, six, now sit up super tall, you guys. Eight, nine. Now from here, I want you to go ahead, reach to this side. Two, if it doesn't work, I bend. Three, four, and five, six. Awesome job, you guys. Seven, eight, nine. Now give me a half jack one more time. One, two, I just assimilate the arms. Too much jumping is not, doesn't work, it's fine. Three more, one, and two, one more. Now I wanna keep hopping just a little bit. Take some nice deep breaths in. Nice deep breath out. Two more breaths. Try not to breathe from your chest. Breathe from your core. Allow the belly to expand and release. Now adjust the arms from here. Shoulders back, gold post. One, two. Now from the side, three, I'm reaching to the corner not directly above my head because it's very easy to lose my neck. And put that pressure on the neck as opposed to the shoulders. Now really squeeze your scapula behind you. Shoulder blades come together. Posture nice and tall and release. Four more. Four, three, and two. One more time, you guys. And one. Now, we're gonna get a little fancy here. We're gonna try to hold a plank on the ball. If it doesn't work, I can hold a plank on the floor. I can hold a plank on the wall. All right, so I don't want you to try to do something you're not comfortable with. However, to build your strength doing this, take your feet up against the wall. That way you have the stability with the ball, okay? Now, from here, my elbows are gonna come into a triangle. I'm gonna roll my shoulders back. I can do this a few ways. If I take my feet out far enough where I can see them behind me, okay, that's one way, then I have a tripod. I'm gonna look into the plank and push back and lengthen the back part of my body and then come back in. I can either relax all the way down or keep it elevated. Now, if, I, if I've already done that before and I want to take it to the next level, I'm gonna walk my feet parallel. Kick back, down dog and plank, one and two from the floor. It's a dolphin kick back in a plank, you guys. Five, six, and seven. If I'm just working on holding, I can come back like this. Eight, and then try to inch my way up just a little bit, you guys. One more. Now you either hold the dolphin, which is when your hips are up, or you hold the plank, 10. Nine, eight, pull that belly button right into your spine. Five, four, three, two, one more. Drop to your knees and push the ball away, you guys. Lengthen. Now, accessing the balance from a plank position really challenges the strength, okay? 
I can come back to the standing, but first I'm gonna show you the move. I will show you a modification, but try this first. So from here, triangle, feet close together. Now from here, I'm gonna take my left knee and I'm gonna tap it. Now, if things go haywire and I start moving all around, it's okay. I can still work from here, find that center of balance, drive the knee in and kick back like this. Okay, now you can push the ball against the wall, you guys, and it's gonna be a lot easier. All right, hopefully you did about five already, so we're just gonna do 10 more. One, two, I can tap the foot or keep the leg high. Three, four, five. If just holding it is enough for me, six, then that's what I'm gonna do. Eight, nine, one more, and rest it, you guys. Awesome job, a lot of extra work there on the upper body. Keep that core super tight. You're activating your arms, you're activating your core and your legs. Your coordination and balance, so there's lots of things going on. So from here, we're gonna switch legs. If I need to stand up, I'll stand up and push that ball up against the wall. So nice deep breath in. Find my center of balance. If this is enough, this is it. Pull, one. Two, three, elbows under the shoulders, four. Tap if you need to, five. Tap the knee, tap the foot. Seven, eight, nine. One more time, you guys. Rest it. Awesome work. I'm gonna take the ball to the right corner and I'm gonna push from here and lengthen the spine. I can keep my hips rather high and just relax the head, or I can sink the hips down and draw the arms out. I wanna feel this stretch coming from that low back to the fingertips. Sometimes it's hard to draw the hips back, so if need to, I just keep them up. Now I'm gonna to switch to the other corner. So nice deep breath in from here, push those hips back, lengthen that spine, take a nice deep breath in, you guys. We're gonna do a few different things here on our back. And we're gonna start with the dead bug. So this time here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down on our back and we're gonna squeeze the ball between the legs. Now, the movement without the ball can be plenty. So if I'm working on building the strength of my core and squeezing the ball is just too much for me, then I would do this without using the ball where I'm alternating one arm and leg. I can even have the ball next to me so I don't have to drop my legs all the way down. All right, so I'm squeezing this sucker, you guys. I'm gonna take that nice deep breath in from here. I want you to go ahead from here and take the ball so that your hands can come all the way in front here and your feet can come on the other side of the ball. Now, what I want you to do is take your left leg and push it into the ball and reach from here and take your left arm and open it. Your right leg is gonna come down, you decide how low, and then you're gonna lift it back up. We're gonna to keep to the same side. If I need to bend, I can do everything from a bent knee, you guys. Ideally, I'm trying to hold. Exhale, one. I just modify how far down. I wanna push the ball as much as I can, activate the upper body, the core, Lengthen the legs, squeeze the glutes. Again, a lot of things happening. I can make this easy or I can challenge myself and make it harder. Four more, four, just make it smaller if you need to, three. But really push you guys, two. This is your workout and one. I rest for a moment, I can just bend the knees and allow the ball from here to rest or I take it to the floor. Now I'm gonna switch the other arm and leg. So I'm gonna take that deep breath in from here, reach and lift, now push through the left, tap. One, and two, exhale, three. Make sure it's opposite arm and leg, you guys, four. Reach nice and long, five. Relax your neck, exhale, six. Engage your core, squeeze it up, seven. Really push you guys, eight. That's a nine, you got one more now. And 10. Fantastic. Rest for a moment and you're gonna take the ball and rest your 
Calves right on top of it. Take a nice deep breath in, you guys. Interlace your hands and draw the palms up. And then just bring them up and over your head if that's comfortable. Now we're going to try to alternate our left and then the right. If it is too much with the ball, I just assimilate the movement, you guys, without trying to push into the ball. All right, so line it up now. You're going to go ahead first. Take your left arm, open in your right leg, and then alternate right and left. Here we go. One. Exhale, switch. Squeeze your glutes now, two. Now you guys push as much as you can. Three. Pull the belly button tight. Four. Modify the movement. Make it smaller. Five. Reach if you can. Six. Lengthen your hamstrings. Seven, squeeze your glutes. Eight, exhale, open. We're so close. Nine, we have one more both sides, you guys. You got this. Ten, and relax it down. Now, to work the ever loving hamstrings, usually by one, two, three, I'm really feeling this, you guys. So, if the movement is too much, I would take my feet from the floor. From here, I can keep both of my feet on the ball and lift the hips, or I can try one leg to the ceiling. If I'm just starting this, I would take the foot to the floor as opposed to the ball. Now, a few things here for the technique. I wanna pull the ball in rather close, okay? My shin is parallel to the floor, and I wanna keep that pressure in the glute by digging my heel down. My heel is not the very top of the ball, okay? If I want to make this easier, I could lengthen my leg and have more of the leg on the ball. But I'm trying to challenge my glutes. So from here, I'm going to do a butt lift and try to touch the ceiling. Modify if you need to. Use your arms, push them left. One, two, now touch the ceiling. Three, exhale, four. Five, dig that heel, you guys. Six, seven, eight, and nine. You got one more time, you guys. Now rest it for a moment. Now, if you did not feel anything, you guys, then you don't rest in between. You just keep going. Now we've got the minis. Are you ready? Tummy tight. Pulse it. One, two, three, four. Five, I'm stopping at the shoulder, no pressure on my neck. Seven, eight, two more, nine. And rest, you guys. Now I'm just gonna lengthen that leg. Oh boy, and give that a nice big stretch so I can bend and lengthen it, you guys. Fantastic. Now, if it's too much, where does the foot go? It just goes to the floor, that's all. So I'm gonna switch now. Keep that ball close, shin parallel to the floor. Use your arms to help you. One. Now two, now squeeze those buns tight, you guys. Three, four, five. Exhale, lift it. Seven, that's eight. Exhale, nine. Exhale, 10. If I don't need a rest, I don't take it. I'm going to pulse it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze those bones, you guys. Engage your core. Eight, nine, one more, and ten. Now, there are sometimes you guys when I do this move, that it just becomes too much for my back. If that is the case, I push the ball up against the couch or the wall. I come in close. I use both legs and just barely lift or just take my feet to the floor. Always modify, you guys. Now lengthen your legs out. The more of my leg that comes over the ball, the easier it is. So I'm gonna take that lever and make it nice and long so that I'm still challenging the hamstrings. So from here, all I'm trying to do is lift in one line. I can push the ball into the wall for stability or really try my balance. I'm gonna go ahead from here, push the palms, squeeze the glutes, and one. And two, now really squeeze those buttons tight. Three, and four, 
Five, I want you to exhale, pull your belly button in. Six, no tension in your neck. Seven, squeeze it. Eight, that's nine. One more time, you guys. Now I'm just gonna try to isolate and hold. If it does not work, I take from here, you guys, and do the bridge with both of my feet on the floor. 10, nine, squeeze your glutes, pull your belly button tight. Five, four, three, and two, one more, and rest it. Awesome work, you guys. I'm gonna take my feet over the ball here. A great way to stretch out my low back is if I'm gonna to rotate to the left, to take my left foot and drop that knee to the floor as I pull that right knee back in and just draw those knees across. I'm gonna take that nice deep breath in here. I'm hugging the top knee, opening up the arms. Inhale. And exhale, now I'm gonna to rotate to the other side. So I take that right knee, drop it to the floor, hug the left knee in, and open the arms to that T. Take a nice deep breath in. Relax the shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Awesome work, you guys. So to come up, I will show you, come back to that first side, come right here to that fetal position, and then just gently push myself up. All righty, so let's come back up to a standing. Now, I wanna work and lengthen really quick my spine, so I'm gonna go ahead from here one more time and reach and reach all the way through the fingertips. Now, what we're gonna try here is a little bit of strength here for your quadriceps. I can use a ball, I can use a chair. I can use a wall and take my hand right up against it. I want you to take from here the leg that is closest to the ball and you're gonna move the leg closest to the ball. So I'm gonna come from here, step forward, drop down, and then step back, okay? Step forward, step back, step forward. Now maybe I don't need to use the ball. I can step from here and lift without using it. Or, and five, press through your heel, six. If you can only bend a little bit, you guys, seven, it doesn't matter. Eight, I'm trying to draw the knee down to the floor, that right knee. Nine, one more time. Now I'm gonna stay in pulse right here. Open, one, two. If I wanna hold my arms out, take that one hand on the ball. Five, six. And seven, tummy tight, eight, and nine, one more time. And rest it, you guys. Fantastic. Now from here, I'm gonna switch legs. The leg that is closest to the ball from here is gonna step forward, and then I'm gonna push back. Now, if it's too much with the ball, try it without, or step backwards. Three, step, four, I can make this move as big or as small, you guys. Six and seven. I want to press through that front heel. Eight, pull my belly button tight. Nine, one more. Now pulse it. One, two, keep the pressure from the heel. Four, five, six, and seven. Great job, you guys. Eight, two more. Nine and ten. Fantastic job. Now, to work our balance as well as our flexibility, I'm gonna step right over the top of that ball. To prevent myself from falling, I could be close enough to a wall or have a chair close by me. Ideally, I want my feet to be parallel. So I'm gonna show you from the front here first, and I'm gonna hinge over the top. And if I can, I take my hands to the floor or I support myself on the ball. Now, from here, I'm stepping over the top of that ball and sinking the energy down from here and relaxing over the top. Now, I understand that maybe this doesn't work this way, which is fine. I would just come to that nice stretch, pushing my hands up against the wall and lengthening my back leg, bending the front knee. Take that nice deep breath in 
and then draw the arms up. So I just want to sink the energy down, balancing coordination, flexibility, deep breath in, open up the arms. Now to come out of it, I rotate. So I'm going to be rotating away here, you guys, from the front knee. I just rotate away. And then I would switch to the other side and tuck that ball right in the middle. Okay? Now remember, it's a round object. If it doesn't feel balanced, it's okay. We're working on our balance. That's what we're trying to do here. So go ahead from here, square up your hips. Take that nice deep breath in. Come as low as you can. If you can come to the floor, great. If it doesn't work, you stay here. If just sitting is a challenge, I'm holding on to the wall for dear life. I want you to take that nice deep breath in, you guys. Lengthen the spine. Inhale. And exhale. Now from here, I'm going to try to sink that energy nice and low. And then draw my arms up without shrugging my shoulders. Square off those hips. Deep breath in, you guys. Now remember to come out of the move. I rotate away from my front knee. And then just gently push away. All right, so let's grab those weights again. From here, you guys, what we're gonna do is add a little bit of a rotation with some weights. If it doesn't work, I do it with that. I'm gonna hold from here, the weights in front of me, and without shrugging my shoulders, I'm gonna draw from here and open up the right. If this does not work, I'm gonna pull back and reach. Here we go. One. And two, relax your shoulders and reach your arms even with each other. Very nice, you guys. Five, open. Six, we are working your core here. Seven, your obliques, your shoulders. Eight, two more. Nine, one more now. Now we're going to switch, you guys, other side. Rotate. One, if it doesn't work, I bend. Three. And four, I'm challenging the shoulders, five, the oblique, six, seven, and eight. Two more, you guys. Nine, you got one more now. And 10. That can be a lot on the arm. So as I go through here and alternate, I would just eliminate the weights, you guys. Keep your core super strong here. You're working your shoulders. The weight should not be so heavy that you feel any tension in your neck. Otherwise, take the arms lower, reach, and switch. Here we go. One, I'm alternating. Exhale. If I need to keep a bend in my arms, that's fine. Two, but I don't want to shrug the shoulders. Three, legs nice and steady. Four, I can do this from standing up if sitting is not comfortable. Five, open. And six, don't shrug you guys, seven. And open, pull that belly button in, eight. Exhale, rotate, nine. Right here, you guys, one more time, both sides. 10, fantastic. Those shoulders should have been burning just a smidge. I'm gonna come back one more time, you guys, if I'm more comfortable adding a jumping jack standing up. I can do a step tap, you guys, but we're gonna come back right here one more time and work those legs and the arms, and I'm gonna punch the arms out to the sides and draw it out, one. And two, if this doesn't work, you guys, three. I would just from here tap, four and five. Six, I don't want the weights to come higher than my shoulders. Eight, nine, great work, you guys, 10. Punch in front, pull back, one. Two, and three, four, awesome work, you guys. Five, six, that's seven, and eight, and nine. Now I'm gonna kick back triceps. One, I can stay in one place, you guys. I can bounce and kick, it's fine. Five, or just step four, and three, and two, one more. Now punch and kick back, and punch, kick back, two, from here, you guys, three. I don't want to let the arms come higher than the shoulders. Four. Pull the belly button in as you punch. Five. That's a six. And seven. 
And eight, two more, you guys. Nine, now we got one more. Now we're resting from here, we keep hopping. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a front snap kick for balance, but we're gonna add the arms. So I'm gonna kick and switch. I can do this from standing to, I'm activating the abdominal muscles, the quadriceps, the shoulders, Exhale, as you lengthen, five, exhale, four. Don't shrug your shoulders, keep it out of your neck. Two more, one, and two. Fantastic work, you guys. Go ahead from here and place it down. Now from here, we wanna activate the legs a little bit more. So similar to the movement where we were pushing the ball forward and back, I'm gonna show you first from here, from the front. I wanna take the ball so it's just beneath the glutes so that I can sit a little bit on it. Now, I'm not completely sitting on it. I'm trying to, from here, use my glute and push through the front heel so just a little tiny bit of the glute is gonna tap the ball. So from here, I want your posture to be nice and tall, shoulders back. Drop and lift, one and two. Bothers my knee, I just don't come down so far. Five, six, seven, eight. You decide how much of that glue you guys touching, but I want this knee to come down as low as you can. Now from here, keep it in your glute by pressing through the front heel. One, two, three, four, that's six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and rest. Awesome job. Have a seat for a moment, and from here, hug the ball. Create that nice, right here space in your low back. Reach and lengthen, you guys. Inhale, and exhale. Gently push it up, and we're just gonna switch legs. So. Balance from here. Just a little tiny bit of that glute is going to tap the ball. I'm going to roll the shoulders back. I can take more of the ball, but ideally, just enough. One, two, dropping this knee. Three, pressing the heel. Four, five, that's six. Press with the heel. Seven, eight, that's a nine. One more time, you guys. Now stay with me here and pulse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. And rest. One more time. Rotate out of it, you guys. Lengthen your legs. Now, if I have a slippery socks on and a slippery surface, it's gonna be really hard to try to keep that, those feet nice and from here, preventing the movement from going. So if I can use shoes or use a wall, I'm gonna lengthen from here. Take that deep breath in, push the hips back. Inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna do a few ab moves on the ball. All right, so this requires, again, challenging our balance. If the ball is too high, I would use the weight on the side or I would hold on to the wall. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and take my left hand behind my head and my right leg and extend it. Opposite arm and leg. I'm gonna rotate through the shoulder and extend. I can keep this movement very small. Or open and pull. One, two. Now rotate through your shoulder, you guys. Three, not your elbows. If I just try to cross my elbow, I'm just gonna be crunching my neck in. So I wanna go ahead and reach from here and open up through my shoulder. I got that quadricep burning a little. Engaging the abdominal muscles. Now I'm going to pulse it. So keep it close and pulse. I can keep my head in the same space or I can pulse it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Take that break when you need it, you guys. Eight, nine, one more. And rest it. I'm going to place that foot down and just relax open. So if I bend the knees, that's great. If I want to open to a back bend, I'm gonna lengthen the arms and the legs. Squeeze my glute if my back starts talking to me. 
Take that deep breath in. And then we're gonna switch sides. So from here, I'm gonna take the left hand down, the left leg out, and the right hand behind my head. Now I'm rotating through the shoulder, you guys, and extending. I make this smaller if I need to. Here we go. One, two, you're exhaling as you come up three, using your abdominal muscles to draw the knee in. Five, push your low back down, six, seven, eight, two more, nine. Now pulse it right here, you guys. Make it small or really pulse and pull. One, two, three, five, seven, nine, and last. Place it down, spread your wings and open. I'm gonna go ahead from here and interlace my hands behind my head. I want to walk my feet in close enough to the ball so that I can push the energy and come up. Now, if it doesn't work, I make everything smaller or I come up from here and just lean back. It's harder to come from the top and come back than it is to come back and come halfway up, okay? So walk your feet in close, keep your head supported with your hands, and then from here, sit up. One, inhale, push your hips back and pull your belly button in, and you're gonna roll down vertebrae by vertebrae, back up. Inhale, exhale. Now pull the belly button into the spine as you extend and you open. Now pull and then tilt your pelvis to come up. Four more, four, your neck is in neutral, three, your belly button's tight, two. Now for the mini, I'm only gonna come halfway up right here. Pulse, one and two. I wanna try not to let the ball move. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more and sit up tall. Lengthen from here and open. Create that space in your low back. Take that nice deep breath in. So working the bounce from a sitting here also works my abdominal muscles. So if I practice this move and I start doing things and it doesn't work, I'm gonna bring the quadriceps into this as well as my abs. I can push the ball into the wall. Now, from here, without letting the ball move, I'm gonna rotate here and take the left shoulder towards the right, and then the right shoulder towards the left. What I don't wanna do is lose the ball in the mix. So that's exaggerating. I wanna to try to keep the ball in one space. One, switch, two. Now think about your oblique here, three, and four, and five. Exhale, lift it, and switch it. That's seven. Switch, and eight, two more. Switch, that's nine, one more. Now just to the right and pulse it. One, and two, lead with your shoulder. Pull the belly button and press the low back down. Four, three, that's two, one more, and switch it up other side. That's two, three, through the shoulder. Four, five, six, pull the belly button in. That's eight. And nine, one more, and rest it. Awesome job, you guys. From here, C curve with your spine. Tuck your chin into your chest, relax your shoulders. Inhale, and exhale. We're gonna come up to a standing to stabilize the ball and make the exercise a little bit easier. I'll push it into the wall or push it into a chair. So what I'm gonna do from here is rotate and take that left foot and rotate it towards the ball. Now, from here, level one, I'm just lifting from here and I can make it small. If I can, I'm gonna reach here and lift and tap. So, again, not all of the pressure comes on the ball because as I do this, I might fall over. So I'm gonna roll the shoulders back, line up the body, rotate the foot, lift and lower. Look down to the floor, try to line up your hip and your shoulder in one line. So from the side here, I'm not coming forward. I'm trying to come directly to the side. Three more. Three, two, one more. Now I'm gonna to try to isolate and hold it. So deep breath in. I can just hold 
or pulse. One, two, three. Now right here, I'm really accessing that glute minimus. So right on the side of the hip is working extra hard just to pulse the leg up. Four more, four, three, two, and rest it. Awesome work, you guys. Now all we're doing is switching. Working that balance of coordination, the assisting muscles, which is why it's challenging. I'm not really using the dominant muscles for this because just to add and lift that leg, I have to use the side of my glute. So if I can, all the way up, maybe it's small if it doesn't work. One, two, make sure your foot is rotated towards the ball. Three, look down to the floor, line up your shoulder and your arm. Five, six, and exhale as you lift, you guys. Seven, eight, bring from here the oblique into a nine as you crunch it up. Ten, now isolate, hold or pulse. One, two, three, four, five, lift it up there. Seven, eight, two more, you guys. One more. Awesome work. Go ahead from here, push that ball away from you. Lengthen that spine and open it up, you guys. We're gonna come back to the ever-loving plank. If I'm just practicing my plank and coming to the floor is enough, I'll do the movement from the floor, from the elbows or the palms. Now, if holding is enough, I'm not gonna try to circle the ball, but if you're really trying, I can take my feet up against the wall and circle that ball like I'm stirring a pot. So nice deep breath in from here. The wider my feet, the easier this is. The closer the feet, the harder it is. So from here, find that position that works best, pull the belly button in, and circle. One, two, three, too much, hold it. Four, and five, especially on that back, you guys. Six, and seven, keep your core tight. Eight, nine, and 10. Rest for a second. We're gonna pick it back up one more time and rotate the other way. Here we go, and circle. One, two, three, stir that pot for four, five, squeeze your glutes, just hold it, eight, nine, one more. Awesome, I want you to come all the way over the top of your ball. I really like this move, you guys, for working the stability of the spine and working the abdominal muscles. Now, if I choose, I can do the movement using a weight. It is enough to just do it without, but to show you the movement, if I walk from here, my right arm and pull it really close to the ball for stability, I'm gonna lift the left arm first. Now, I wanna feel steady just lifting that one arm. So from here, I'm gonna practice with the arm, Practice with that opposite leg. So if the left, if the right hand is down, the right leg is lifting. So keep your abs engaged, pull the belly button in. One, same side. Two, three. Now this would be that bird dog, you guys. Four, without the ball. Five, six. So it's fine if I don't wanna work it over the ball. Seven, eight, Nine, one more. Now I want you to try to hold it. If I take my foot up against the wall here, I should be able to hold steady and make this a lot easier. So I'm gonna isolate and hold for 10 if I can. Use a chair in front of you. Hold on to it for balance if you need to. Pull the belly button in, hold it. Five seconds, squeeze your glutes. Four, three, two, and rest. Now there's always a sweet spot in the ball where you just find that position where you're like, oh wow, this is so much easier. Some days it's really hard to find it. Some days we just find it. So the more that you practice, you guys, the easier it comes. But practice it a few times a day. You have your ball. You wanna work the stability of your spine, the strength of your back. You come over the top here in that bird dog. Now we're switching hands. The left hand is gonna come in close. I can just practice lifting my right arm up and down. And then from here, take that deep breath in. The left leg lifts and the right arm. One, 
and two. Now, if I don't pull my belly button in, as I go to lift, it's gonna be a lot harder. So I'm gonna engage the core, squeeze the glute, lengthen the arm. One side is gonna feel easier than the other. Four more. Four. Three, tummy's tight. Don't hyperextend your neck. One more time, you guys. Now hold it. 10, nine, eight. Use a chair, use a wall if you need to, but don't let your abs from here keep the engagement in the core. Just don't let your belly sink in. Three, two, and rest. Now from here, I'm gonna take my feet slightly wider than hip distance, push the ball directly under my shoulders, and then squeeze up nice and tall. So I like to use a wall here if I need to for stability. If it does not work, I would bend my knees in a little bit to come up. But if I don't squeeze my glutes, all of this pressure is coming into my back. So I want to squeeze the glutes, take that deep breath in. Now, using my arms, I want to create that mobility in my spine. So I'm going to push up and come back down. I want to use the arms to help me, but I don't want the arms to take over completely. So try to engage and squeeze your glutes, or if you really want to try this, push your feet into the wall and then come up. One, two, three. So use your hands. Four, keep your neck in neutral. Five, squeeze your glutes tight. Six, exhale seven. There's a difference between the low back feeling fatigued, like it's tired, and it hurts. So you need to learn that distinction so you know you don't hurt yourself. One more time. And rest it. I'm just going to relax completely over the top now. Take that deep breath in, you guys, and relax my low back. Now, if I really want to try to get and really access my core, I'm going to come over the top of the ball. That's not necessarily for everyone. So if it doesn't work for me and I don't want to try any acrobatic movements, I could come from here, pull one knee in, and then pull the other knee in. Okay, I can also hold the plank or I can do some regular crunches sitting on the ball. All right, so what I want you guys to do from here is scoot back far enough. I'm going to scoot back where you're not going to see me for a second so that I can come over the top and be on the screen. So from here, now, the more of my leg that's on the ball, the easier this is. The farther I walk it away, the more my arms have to work. I'm gonna exhale and pull the knees in and extend. So exhale, squeeze. One, two, three, four. I can do crouching tiger, downward facing dog if I want to. Five. Squeeze your glutes, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more time. Now to dismount, I take the foot, bring it down very gracefully to come up. Doesn't always work that way, so don't worry about it. Just try to come off of the ball as easily as you can. Let's come back one more time here, you guys with the arms and we're gonna work the abs and work the shoulders. Now I can do this movement from standing and all I'm gonna do is alternate one leg and then the other. One, I can do this from standing and I challenge my balance just a little bit differently. But from sitting, I'm still challenging the balance. I'm squeezing and tracking the quads and the shoulders. Let's do four more. Four, deep with your elbows, three, doesn't work, I bend. Doesn't work, I just focus here. Take the hands to the ball if I need to. Two more. One more both sides. Awesome job. Now, to really work my balance, you guys, I'm gonna stand up and take one foot on top of the ball. It is not for everyone, you can stand up on one foot instead. Now, from here, I can take the ball and push it up against the wall if I need to. Or I'm gonna find the balance and prop the foot up from here behind me. 
I'm going to roll the shoulders back and pull the belly button in from here. And I'm going to draw the arms up and right back down. If this is easy enough, I can lengthen and pull and reach. Lengthen, pull, and reach. Lengthen, doesn't work, right here. Standing on one foot, no need for the ball. Just options, you guys. Lift, lengthen. I'm using the glute here in the hamstrings, the abdominal muscles, working the balance and the coordination. And then from here, the shoulders. Two more. Lengthen. And lift one more time. Lengthen. And lift. Rotate from here and drop the foot down. All right, so we're going to switch sides. Try the move. If I just want to work the stability, push the ball up against the wall or the couch so that you can just practice lifting up your leg. So from here, Shoulders back. The more of my foot that's on the ball, the easier it is. So shoulders back. I can work from here, lift and lower. If I want to get crazy and lengthen, I'm going to open and pull. I can reach the arms up without falling. Here we go. Lengthen and lift. From here, press to the heel. Now I can do a standing leg deadlift, you guys. If a single leg deadlift is enough, which it is, I don't have to get crazy here, you guys. Sorry, four more times now. Just like this is fine. Three. Lengthen. Two. One more now. Lengthen. And one. Go ahead from here. Take it off. Come back now one more time and have a seat on top of that ball. Roll the shoulders back. We're going to come to some circles. Again, if I want to work the balance from standing, I'll stand on one foot. I'm going to try from here with one leg extended and circle back. One, I'm accessing the quadricep. The balance the shoulders, three and four. Engage the core, five and six. If I need a break, seven, I tap the foot down. Eight. Nine, one more. Relax, you guys. Lengthen and lift the other leg. Contract, circle forward. One and two, three. Sorry, I just realized I'm a little bit late. Five and six and seven and eight, two more. One more time and last six. Awesome job, you guys. Sorry about that. Go ahead from here and lengthen and reach. If you gotta go, have a wonderful weekend. Switch to the other side. Always a good idea, if you have a few minutes here, to hang on and add some stretches. So what I want you to do, if you have the balance, if not, you use a wall or a chair, and you're gonna cross from here in the number four stretch. If this does not work, which often it doesn't, then from here, I would walk my feet and take the hands close to the floor and cross. Now my closer center of gravity is closer to the floor. I could come over the top of the ball if I want to. All of that, if I want to, I sit up nice and tall, cross it. Hinge forward if you can. Now from a chair, sitting at your desk, you're working. You're sitting, you're watching TV, you're eating. Create that space in your hip, you guys, as much as you can. Take that nice deep breath in. If you want to really get into it, take that same arm and pull it across. So from here, pull. Now a key and a little trick here, if I really want to work this, is to make sure that my foot is closer to the center of the ball. Okay, so if I have my foot way out here and I try to cross it, then I have to compensate the energy. So I'm going to take it to the center of the ball, cross it, try it from here. If you notice my leg is slightly angled. Okay, so I'm trying to work that center of balance here and be able to draw this knee down without falling over. So I use the foot to help me with stability. If it doesn't work, I sink the energy down low and I cross it from here. I can even open up over the ball. All of these are options, but not necessary, you guys. Use a wall for stability or sit on a chair. Take that nice deep breath in and just lean forward. 
Inhale, exhale. Now, if I want to really work that balance and I try to take the same arm, I could try it in opposition. You could always try it the same. So nice deep breath in you guys. Now let's just do a little spinal twist here. So I'm gonna sit up nice and tall and then add that rotation. Now the taller I can stand, think about your posture. Think about what happens as we go through the day. All of this tension and stress, I'm trying to elongate my spine and really work the posture and open up my spine. Now I'm gonna to switch to the other side. Think about wringing out your internal organs here, sitting up as tall as you can. You're setting yourself up for success for the weekend. So let's take three big breaths here, you guys. Draw that energy all the way up and pull right into your heart center. So I want you to inhale as the arms come up and exhale as they come right into that heart. One more time, I want you to inhale positive. Think about all the things you have to be grateful for and then pull that right into the heart center. Take that nice deep breath in, gently bow your head, namaste.